Well, it's your girl, Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. Also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. If you would be so kind to so please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not, and without any further ado, we are going to get into today's messages. Also remember guys, these messages can apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may have something to do with yourself, a friend, a loved one, a family member, uh, you know, your, your co-workers, your neighbors, or anybody in between, okay? So, um... I seen the first message. We're gonna get this started, okay? So we have here: don't sell your soul to get the bag here, to get the deal or the bag here, okay? We have career, so we're definitely dealing with a situation pertaining to somebody's career. Spirit is telling you: don't sell your soul, honey, to get that deal or the bag because it's unnecessary, okay? You will, you will regret it later, okay? It might be all fun and games now, but you would regret it later, okay? We have here, they're jealous, envious, and intimidated by you, okay? This could be because of somebody's talent, skills, and abilities. Uh, Spirit is saying that there's competition all around you because of whatever career field that you are in. And this could be, you know, you could just have a regular... Uh, eight to four, nine to five job, okay? This could be, you know, whether you're an artist and, uh, you know, or what have you, or you have a, um, you know, talent, skills, and abilities doesn't necessarily just have to do with um, specific creative arts of some kind. You understand what I'm saying? This could be, you could be a great carpenter, or, you understand what I'm saying? You could be um, in many different work fields, okay? Um, but I feel like there's an opportunity that is uh, available for someone or be becoming available for someone. You're definitely getting some type of career advancement um, in business. You may even uh, be starting your own business or something, okay? You're following your dreams, your desires and things, so, okay? But there's competition all around you. People jealous of you, envious of you, they intimidated by you, okay? Um, because, yeah, people want... Mm -hmm. Spirit, people want your gifts. You're getting some type of promotion, Spirit is saying. These people want your gifts here, okay? And we have money here as well. It's coming in for you, and that's just people that's hating, okay? There's people hating, okay? But whatever it is you do, you do it um, You do it well, okay? And people hating on you, um, throwing slick shot, throwing shade at you, competing with you and all kinds of things or whatever. Um, so you're dealing with a lot of competition right now is what it seems, guys, okay? If y'all hear anything in the, in the background, please excuse that. Um, my daughter is doing her work. Okay, guys. So let's clarify. Don't sell your soul to get the deal of the bag. You could be a content creator, okay? You could be online in some type of way, okay? You could be on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, um, Twitter, okay? Uh, you could be a social media blogger or um, have your own blog or... Um, podcast or something uh you may or may not have a popular platform but i definitely feel like you could be a content creator of some kind here okay yeah and there's people that's spying on you there's people watching you okay surveillancing you okay people hacking you tracking you stalking you could be even tapping you so we're gonna sit this here okay we're gonna see what else is coming what else comes in for you okay so spirit clarify don't sell yes don't sell your uh soul to get the deal or the bag don't sell your soul to get the deal or the bag, okay? Whomever you are, I've seen this the first time, okay? Um, you could be in some in, in hermit energy, okay? You're normally to yourself. You don't bother anyone. You do your own thing. 
Um, you know what I'm saying? You're not antisocial, but you could be kind of closed off from the world, okay? You do you. You let other people do them, okay? You could be an introvert. Um, you get out and about. It's not like you like the lock and shut in or nothing. You get out and about when you need to, when you want to, when you have to or whatever. But other than that, I feel like you could be, a you know, a lonely loner. You're a loner. You're okay with being alone, though. Um, you're not waddle, waddling in depression because you're uh, a loner or anything. But so uh, even if you have a job where you go out and work, you go to the grocery store, you do what other people do every day. You know what I'm saying? When you want to or whatever. But you could still be an introvert. You could still be a loner. You're not bothered to anyone. Okay. But you also may be someone who don't have any family. You don't have any friends. But you know nonsense. Okay. Somebody come for you. Somebody try you. Okay. You will let them know what it is, okay? Um, but you could be all by yourself, okay? Um, the hermit also speaks to you could be someone who's very spiritual, okay? So you could pray or meditate, um, or either just go into um uh really intense thought. Um, at times you could be someone who's a target individual, okay? I do feel like you could be, if you're not a light worker, you're definitely someone who's illuminated, which means, um, you're enlightened, okay? Um, you could be highly intuitive as well here, okay? You could like to study or research something or you're into studying or researching something, um, but there's this sense of desegregation, isolation, meditation, um, type of energy or feel with you, but you're definitely a free thinker, okay? Whatever it is that you do, whether you are a loner or an introvert or not, have no family, no friends, or whatever, honey, it don't even matter because obviously, what it, whatever it is that you do, whether it is whether it's a a a, a job, a career, a talent, a skill, an ability, and a a trade or something, I feel like it's something that uh you can make a career out of, okay? I definitely feel like something's coming up with some type of career opportunity for you, okay? Spirit, clarify career. Clarify career. So we have here, don't worry about being lonely. Sometimes it's safer that way for your own protection here, okay? So um, you may even work alone, Okay? And maybe it's better for you that way. Maybe it's safer for you that way. Maybe you like it that way. I don't know about anybody else, but I work good alone, okay? Um, people can make you not like people sometime, okay? With the people that's in the world, okay? You could be someone who's like, and I'm a water sign, okay? So I'm naturally loving, caring, generous, um, you know, affectionate, giving type of person and different things like that. But people know that they will pounce on that. They're opportunists. Um, and, and they will take your kindness for weakness every time if you allow, allow them to. Okay. And I kid you not, when you're that type of person, it's always somebody who come along with false pretenses that you try to help, that you try, you know, to, to do uh, good for, and they take your kindness for weakness. They screw you over every time. And it just makes you, feel like, you know, that, ugh, I don't like people, which is why you're a loner in the first place, which is why you're in hermit mode in the first place, which is why you don't have friends in the first place, okay? Because it's always that joker trying to come along and, uh, you know, pull a fast one on you or whatever, and you give your all and, and put your, you know, your all and your passion and everything into something. And, you know, people take your, you know, they, they, they take your kindness for weakness. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and so you have to be careful who you're helping, who you're working for, who you, you know, and, and various different things because people will take all they can get, okay? They will take all they can get from you as long as you're giving and they will screw you over and stab you in the back the first chance they get, okay? So I feel like you are somebody, whatever it is that you do, you may work alone, okay? And you may like it like that. I work better alone, okay? Um... I really do. I work better alone. So you may feel like that as well. If you notice any time where there's like any type of big, uh, a company, a place, I don't care what the business is. If there's a whole bunch of women that work there, it's going to be a problem at some point in time. Okay. Um, women just them type of creatures. Okay. Like, I could you not. 
but and it is it's often like that or whatever okay but whatever it is that you do for work there's an opportunity that's coming open for you okay somebody could come at you with 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 some type of um contractual agreement or something um offer you some type of deal um a large lump sum of money or something you want to be very careful with that um if you're in that position okay and this doesn't necessarily have to be just industry work or you know things like that there's a lot of other like um uh contractual things or whatever um even you know doing um other types forms of work just be careful who you're working for who you're working with okay um because I, I just feel like somebody looking to throw you off your path in some type of way or whatever. People know that there's a career opportunity coming in for you. There's some type of promotion or advancement that's coming in for you. People in competition with you. People want your gifts. You know what I'm saying? People jealous of you, envious of you, intimidated by you. And you can't forget this, okay? But you can't sit in that, okay? Stay stuck in that. You got to keep on moving forward and doing what you got to do, okay? Spirit, clarify uh, they're jealous, envious, and intimidated by you. They're jealous, envious, and intimidated by you. Yeah. There could be individuals. That's why I told you, you need to be careful who you're working with, okay? Because somebody trying to throw you off in some type of way. Somebody could be try coming in to try to blackmail you into selling out in some type of way. Okay, that's why you need to be careful who you trust, who you deal with, who you talk to, who you work with. Okay, somebody could be trying to blackmail you into selling out in some type of way, uh, shape, form, or fashion here. We have partners in crime. This sits here on competition all around you. These, te these people are tag team partners, okay? From one situation to the other, you may think you're dealing with one person or or um, this, that, or the other. These trolls are everywhere. These agents, these ops, these spies, um, these 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 uh, gang stalkers, they're everywhere, and they all link together. They all connect like dots. They're all partners in crime, and they're all in competition with you, okay? Um, these people will come to you under false pretenses, okay, with fake names, phony identities, and, and all kinds of things, okay? Um... Uh, because often side consider the fact they're jealous of you, they're envious of you, they're intimidated by you, they're in competition with you, okay? They will lie to you, they will deceive you, they will try to manipulate you, they try to uh, get information out of you, they'll try to steal from you and in all kinds of things, okay? So you need to be aware of that, okay? So here, clarify uh, promotion, okay? Clarify promotion. Clarify promotion, please, Spirit. There could be some type of, yeah, we got here the Wheel of Fortune here on promotion, okay? So this could, I mean, there's better finances, money, resources turning uh, better in your favor in your life that's coming in for you. This could be better luck, raises, advances, savings, um, wills, uh, some type of windfall, a promotion, loans, inheritances, trusts. Um, but it speaks to jobs, hobbies, uh, educations, trades, careers, okay? Things looking up, okay? Good coming in for you uh, for a change, okay? And somebody wants to come in and throw you off your, your track. And it, I, I feel like it's because they want to steal your gifts. Spirit, clarify they want, um, they want your gifts. They want your gifts. Somebody, somebody, somebody could be dibbling and dabbling with it, with the industry, okay? There's people who's gossiping about this, like uh, gossiping about what gifts you have, what talents, what skills, what abilities you have, okay? These people are, uh, you know, this is the T card here, okay? So people are gossiping, they're rumoring about you, um, you got individuals that's hating on you, individuals that's trying to come up with a way to betray you, individuals placing judgment on you, okay, individuals that's backstabbing you, backbiting, you know what I'm saying, the latest scandal, people are just speaking, but people are talking about your gifts, and there are people who... Whether they like you or not, they know that you have gifts, okay? And they want your gifts, okay? Um, 
I have here the vinyl card here, okay? So this could speak to other artists, um, labels, uh, 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 like record labels, like whatever type of, whatever it is, okay? Let's also talk about signing contracts and different things like that or whatever. So you want to be very careful with this. Somebody wants your gifts, okay? And if they got a lot of you, bamboozle you, fool you, bring you in under false pretenses just to get close enough to you to steal your gifts, then you best believe that people will do it, okay? So Spirit, clarify money. Why is money here? Money. Spirit says believe in miracles here, okay? There's something, something miraculous is going to, to turn in your favor, going to happen in your life. Spirit is saying that magic is happening all around you every single day, okay? I do feel like there's manifesting blessings, hopes, wishes, or dreams that may be coming true for you, okay? But Spirit says believe in miracles um, when it comes to money, okay? Because money is going to come, be coming in for you in, in, in different ways, shape, forms, and fashion. I'm telling you, you need to be careful who you're around, who you talk to, who you deal with, who you allow in your personal space here. Because Spirit is saying, be careful whom you accept food, drinks, and gifts from because it's curse here, okay? This speaks to spell words, um, poisons, um, one being drugged, witchcraft, and some more shit, okay? And then behind that, we have the high priestess here, okay? Um, things being hidden, things being secret, okay? Occultic knowledge, secret societies, authorities, elite figures, okay? Secrets, okay? Hidden things, okay? Spirits say pay attention to the enemy's subliminal witch language, okay? Okay, spirits. So let's see what else is going on here. For those of you who have regular 9 to 5s, 8 to 4 jobs, you got good jobs with benefits, 401ks, and, you know, vision, dental, health, uh, life insurance, and all that is good on your job. You're coming into some type of promotion. There's people that you work with who are in competition with you. They're jealous, envious, and intimidated by you because you're getting this promotion, because you're getting some type of uh, financial abundance or raise of some kind, okay? Um... And these people want your gifts. You obviously have some type of talent, skills, abilities, or gifts that they do not have. Hold on, guys. Spirit, clarify. Uh, don't sell your soul to get the deal or the bag with Hermit. Don't sell your soul to get the deal or the bag with Hermit. Yeah. Spirit is telling you not to sell your soul to get the deal. Or the bag because these people are uh, making plans and preparations to try to steal something from you. If you sell your soul, if you sell out to get the deal, okay? Yeah, look, because great fortune is coming in to you. And I feel like somebody's going to offer you some type of opportunity um, or act like they're going to offer you some type of job or opportunity because they just want to get close enough to you so they can steal the great fortune that's coming in for you, okay? Yeah, we have here... Uh, Concerned that sits on career and lonely here. You could be concerned about your career, okay, um, in this lonely space or whatever. Spirit don't want you to be concerned um, about your career because there are blessings that come that's coming in for you. Look, great fortune is still at the bottom of the deck. This is still coming in for you. Great fortune gifts here, okay? But I'm telling you, you got to be careful with this because somebody is trying to kill you. With coffin that's sitting behind great fortune and gift, people know that this is coming in for you, okay? And so people are trying to find a way to get into your life, get into your space, get close to you so they can off you in some type of way because they want unexpected income for themselves here, okay? Be careful of this. So we are clarify that jealous, envious, and intimidated by you trying to blackmail you into selling out. See, they only want you to sell out so they can steal your great fortune from you. They don't really care about you. They don't really like you. They want to steal your gifts, and they want to steal your great fortune. So we are clarify they're jealous, envious, and intimidated by you trying to blackmail you into selling out, okay? So we have two cards that pops out here, okay? We got change and main female here. Okay, 
So some type of uh, uh, a major shift or change is coming in for you, okay? And you could have a lot of women. Either you are main female and this change is coming in for you, okay? Or because this change is coming in for you, you got a lot of women who jealous, envious, and intimidated by you. But I feel like people of all sexes, men and women, could be jealous, jealous, envious, and intimidated by you, okay? There could be men and women that's trying to blackmail you into selling out here, okay? So I feel like more likely than not, you are a main female, and this change is coming in for you, and these people know it, and this is the reason why they're jealous and intimidated by you, okay? They want your gifts. Spirit, clarify competition all around you, partners in crime. Competition all around you, partners in crime. Look, your competition, they got some type of messages of concern, okay? These people that's partnered up against you, they got some type of message of concern, um, maybe about your work or something like that or whatever, and they're jealous and they're hating, um, and they teamed up trying to figure out what they could think because they 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 envious of you, okay? Look, great fortune. They know that you come, come into great fortune because of your gifts. Whatever gifts you got, skills you got, they know you can get great fortune for it, and they are in competition with you. Whatever it is that you have done, a message of concern went out to all your haters, basically. Okay, went out, went out to all the partners of in crime. Went out to all of those who are in competition all around you, baby. Okay, somebody rang the alarm. Okay, and um, now these people, these people, that's uh, you, that's the reason why spirit is telling you co uh, there's competition all around you. These people are partners in damn crime, honey. They got some type of message, news, information, or communication. They jealous, they envious, they hating, okay? They like, what we gonna do next here, okay? This keep being at the bottom of the deck. This is great fortune here, okay? Somebody is about to be an official person and come into great fortune here. And these people know it. They feel some type of way about it. All your haters, all your com uh, competitors, okay? All the partners in crime that's working against you behind the back. Spirit, clarify uh, promotion and the will of fortune, please. Promotion and the will of fortune. Promotion and the will of fortune. Promotion and the will of fortune. So look, this is unexpected income here. Thoughts wanted to pop over too. Okay, somebody is it somebody has been sent back thinking about you long and hard, watching you, watching what you do, and there's some type of unexpected income that's getting ready to come in for you. You're about to get some type of promotion, some type of finances, money, resources is coming in for you, okay? Things are gonna be looking up for you because somebody has been watching you watching your 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 expertise watching your work watching what you do and there's some type of unexpected income coming in for you that's why somebody rang the alarm honey and the, your competitors here the, your part the people that's partners in crime honey they got these messages of concern like oh no hell no man <laughs> they ain't up and done it okay spirit clarify money clarify money this could be Official persons, wealthy men. You could be about to become an official person or a wealthy man. Because with, with, with money here, we got to believe in miracles, guys. Okay? Spirit, clarify money and uh, believe in miracles. Yeah. So you are a female here. Okay, you could be a mature woman, but you could take the energy because this energy could also be for a man. Okay, but these things are happening in your life here. Yeah, look, they want your gifts, occupation. People are gossiping about your talents, your skills, your abilities, your gifts, honey. They want your gifts. They want what you do for, for work, for occupation. Okay, yeah. Somebody's sitting in expectation or you could be sitting in expectation. Okay, somebody's about to become a privileged lady or a privileged man here. Spirit, clarify. Um, give us further clarification. Yeah, there's some type of gifts that's coming in for you.
because of a pathway that you chose. Some type of gift coming in for you. But your path, your pathway, look at this just fell in my lap, y'all. Sudden well. Sudden wealth is about to come in for you, okay? And your haters, your those that's in competition, the competition is all around you, the partners in crime, those that's jealous of you, envious of you, intimidated by you, they're going to be in despair. They've been seen up working against you for so doggone long. Somebody, you could have been in poverty. Somebody is coming out of poverty and receiving some type of high honor, okay? You may move, relocate, travel. But you're getting some type of great fortune, okay? You also could become an official person in some type of way, okay? So let's see what else is going on. What are the messages we get for this situation, guys? Hold on. Okay, Spirit, please clarify. Don't sell your soul to get the deal or the bag with the hermit and thief. Somebody coming in. Somebody in power is coming in. Somebody in authority of influence, a master, a ruler, or something, honey. They want to try to offer you something. Offer you some kind of deal, some type of bag, or something. Okay. But I'm telling you, I feel like this person only wants, is only doing this in an effort to try to get over on you in some type of way. I'm telling you, it's not necessary. Like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not a hater. But at the end of the day, um, you do what is best for you. Like, what makes you happy? What you are comfortable with? Like, some people, um, just straight up, you know what I'm saying? Um, some, some things are for some people and some things are not. You understand what I'm saying? There's like, you can you can look at celebrities, for instance. Look at certain celebrities that came up at the same time, okay? Some of them excelled and still in the industry, still working hard right now to this day. And some of them fell off. You understand? Some things is meant for some people and some people is not. You understand what I'm saying? You know how some people go to college and some people do not. College is not for everybody. But that doesn't make the person that didn't go to college not smart. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so it's one of those type of things. Okay? Um, but I, I, I'm... I, so basically I said that to say that it is possible for you to succeed in life. Okay? And have abundance. Um, in life without you selling yourself, okay, in order to get there. Now, I will say this. If you're, because I'm not a hater, okay, I'll guide you in whichever way. I'm going to tell you the truth straight up, but I'm going to guide you in whichever direction in which you want to go. You understand what I'm saying? So if your ultimate goal is to be rich and famous, you understand what I'm saying? You you want the lights, the camera, the actions, the paparazzi. You want to be on people's TVs and folks' magazines. And you know what I'm saying? You about that life. Then I'm going to let you know. I'm going to lay it out for you. Okay? This is what you got to be. This is what you got to do. Okay? At that point, when you have made the conscientious decision, like if I was personally speaking to you and you have made this conscious decision, you know, because at the end of the day, can't nobody tell you how to live your life as a grown as adult. You understand what I'm saying? If you like, hey, Tiffany, I'm about to blow up. I'm going to blow up one day. I'm going to make it. This is what I want to do. And I want to head that way to do it. What should you suggest? Well, then what I'm going to tell you then, I'm not going to talk you out of what you want to do. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to be like, it's like this, that, and the third. All right? And you like, I know what I got to do to get it, and I'm with it. So then I'm going to tell you, okay, well, this what it is. You know what I'm saying? This this, this how you got to do this or whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? You you just, you just When you're trying to help and assist people, you have to help and assist people off of their mind frame off of what you have made the conscious, not what other people are deciding for you. Okay. But what you have made the conscientious decision to be okay with, you know what I'm saying? And it's the difference between, and that's the difference. That's the difference in the full car here. Okay. 
taking when you take a leap of faith and you know the leap of faith that you're taking is something totally different than taking a blind leap of faith going into something blind and being bamboozled and being fooled and being tricked and being swindled because you know what i'm saying you just had a motivation, you just heard about some money, seen some money, had an idea of some money, and you smooth walked off a cliff with a blindfold on, you didn't know how deep, that, how steep that, that steep that cliff was, or anything like that, you didn't want to take off, you understand what I'm saying, it's the difference between being awake to what things is and what things isn't, and still wanting to take that leap of faith, and doing so, um, fully awaken and, 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 and knowledgeable on what you're getting yourself involved in and, and into. And so, like I said, some people are with it. Some people are not. Okay. There, I mean, we have had great one hit wonders. Okay. Them people did not all of a sudden wake up one day and could not sing no more. Okay. There was a reason that they did not excel like the rest of, you know, the, 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 the other people that they work with in their same genre, in their same field, okay? It was something about either the atmosphere or the work field or what was required of them or their life changes or something where they didn't quite make, you know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You often see this uh, uh, a lot of times, like, uh, like say somebody, um, and look at it in a different way. Say somebody, uh, go to college, you enroll for college. Okay. Um, you got a full load. Okay. College is fun. When you first get in there, everybody's partying, you know, you could have been, uh, uh, trying to pledge for some type of sorority or fraternity, you know, all kinds of things. It's fun. When you first get in there, college life, woo -hoo, you know what I'm saying? Rock out, okay? But that party lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? You done messed around and got pregnant. Now you got a full damn load. You can't focus. You can't pay attention. The responsibilities is coming up. You're not focused. On Nine times out of ten, that person's going to have to drop out. Until not everybody, you know what I'm saying? With with a, a person who has good family support and help and things like that, they could still stay in school. Um, you know what I'm saying? And 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 have adequate child care, whatever. While they finish, college, you know, do whatever they got to do. But not everybody have that. So you have to think in the terms of most people. Like what would statistics say? Most people who have experienced that may end up dropping out for a little while until you know, after they give given birth or whatever and some time go by, whatever, and they can enroll back in school if they ever go back. But college is not necessarily meant for everybody. But say that person, that's the same thing as say that person who took that leap of faith, got into the industry uh, based off of something that they did great and other people liked and somebody came and gave them an opportunity. You didn't read the contract. Come to find out it was a bogus contract, okay? You wasn't given the money that was originally told to you, you, you got stuck in this thing. And then when the contract was up, your career also was up. You understand what I'm saying? And that's oftentimes what happens with one hit wonders and different things like that. So I only said that guys to, to say that it depends on what you are trying to do in life. Okay. But what spirit is telling you here for whoever you are, whatever you do, I don't care if you sew for a living. If you say you're a fashion designer, you create your own clothes. You want to have your own, and you know what I'm saying? It would be a blessing for you to maybe have your own uh, small business. You Maybe you just want a little boutique, a little shop or something like that. And that would be blessing enough for you. You want to get to that point. Okay, because now you're just sewing clothes in your house, you know, you're putting your designs up online and different things, showing people your fashions, modeling your fashion, getting your family and your friends to model your fashion, show other people, people are seeing your stuff, liking your stuff, okay? You're trying to save up to get that business license. You're trying to to uh, save up to get that that uh, rent out that that storefront or whatever it is that you're trying to do, okay? And here comes somebody that see what you're doing. Okay, you got a good idea. Okay, you make a major move. So they're going to come in and offer you some type of opportunity and say, you know what, we're going to pay for you to get that pay for your business license. We're going to pay for this uh, building right here. This is actually my building that's paid for or whatever. So you won't have to uh, uh, pay, uh, pay for rent or whatever. They're going to make it sound real sweet to you. I'm going to give you a uh, uh, 
$10,000 a month. You're going to create X, Y, and Z amount of garments for me. And you're going to sell these garments to me. And I'm going to, I'm going to flip the profits of this. And I'm going to give you an XX amount of percent of the profits. You understand what I'm saying? You understand? Talk real smooth, real fast to you. Sound real good because it's something that you don't have and the things that you can't afford right now. This person is coming in off top and offering it. But if you break down the terms of what they are saying, technically you'll end up what's called with, with cars top heavy. You'll end up owing this person because then and then you'll be out of product, of business, of work that you've done. Okay, that now this person would then own. Okay, and so then at this point, when you went out and you come back and this person to say, well, okay, well, hold up. Well, then are you going to give me all back all of the, uh, the startup money? The money for all the supplies, the money for the building, the money for the license, the money for this. And that. So you end up coming out owing this person more, but this person will come in and, 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 and lay it out like, Oh, I see what you're doing. This is a great thing. You can have your own this, that, and the other. I can make this happen for you. Blah, 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 blah. But way they set, but the, the, you know, the way they should set up, you come out on them more than what the hell you would have needed to start out on your own and you still could have succeeded and you would have had full credentials in, in, in of everything that you own for yourself with no other part, you know what I'm saying? Without contracts and different things like that. So all I'm telling you is, is possible for you to succeed and for you to make it and have abundance. Okay. If that is what you are seeking. Okay. However, if you want your fashion designs on runways, you want to mix and mangle with the, the, the high society fashion designers and different things. That's some other steps. There's a lot of things you got to do to get there. Now, if you were taking those, that, those steps, then we can talk about what you got to do to get there. But according to what spirit is saying here, don't sell in this situation of what's coming toward. Don't sell your soul to get the bag or the deal right now. Okay. Um, because somebody, something is coming into you that is yours, that is for you off top, period, point blank. And other people know it. The people jealous of you, envious of you, intimidated by you, know it. That's the reason why they're trying to send somebody in to blackmail you into selling out, okay? You got competition all around you that's partners in crime trying to figure out a way who or what or how they can sneak and creep in and get closer to you. You even got business people in power who, who you know, very lucrative. Papered up in all kinds of ways, got connections in all kinds of ways, could literally make you an overnight damn celebrity if they wanted to, just by the blink of an eye and a stroke of a, 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 a keystroke, you understand, on a computer or some shit, like literally got that type of power and pull, you understand what I'm saying, but it's for a purpose, they're trying to steal something that is destined for you that is yours and on its way and it has to do with great fortune so you may be somebody that's sitting up with nothing right now but you do some type of good work that other people see and they want your gifts you got no idea and, and you may want your own business and you ain't got a dime right now you hanging off a wing in a prayer, but all you got is a talent a skill the ability a hope wish a dream and a prayer okay that's all you got, but you have no idea that great fortune is right around the corner that is destined for you, that is yours. These people are hoping that they can get, they can come, get somebody to come in, offer you some type of desperate deal that they think that you would take because they think that you are desperate, okay? They think that they could get you to sell out. That way, when this great fortune come in for you, they got already got you wrapped up so they can steal this from you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Because when this come in for you, well, whatever this is that's naturally yours, is, is abundantly yours, is coming in for you, solely for you, will be enough for you to start your own business if you want to. Okay? Do your own startup takeoff if you want to. You understand what I'm saying? The very thing that you need and, and you're sitting around waiting for right now, okay? So, Spirit, clarify, uh, don't sell your soul to get the deal or the bag here. See, because look, people are in conversation about you. How can we get close to this person? How can we work with this person? What kind of contract can we draw up for this person? They're trying to figure out who they can send into you. You in hermit mode. You don't fool with nobody. You, don't, you probably don't trust nobody. You don't deal with nobody. You to yourself. But whatever work you do. 
in the light. On that hermit card, you see that person there with a light. You illuminate it. Okay, you enlighten on something that you do. Okay. And you I feel like you do, you work by yourself. You may work from home or whatever. People watching it, people know it, people seeing it, they in conversation about it, but they know something better is coming in for you, and they want to figure out how the hell they can get close to you or what the hell they could do. Look, the enemy trying to come into you need to get close to you. So they can feel like, feel, uh, figure out how to steal. This great fortune is coming in for you. I'm trying to tell you. I can't. I'm not lying to you. I'm not lying to you. Spirit, clarify career. The lonely card in concern. Because you sit up in concern about your career right now. Because you don't have anything. Because you got a lack of finances, money, and resources. Okay. But there's abundance that's getting ready to come into you that is solely yours. That other people want to take. I told you they want to see your gifts. The gifts that you do from work. And, and, and financial gifts that's coming in for you as well. It's very clarified. Uh, career. Lonely and concern. Please give me a clear and accurate message. Hold on, guys. There's too many cards trying to flip over. Please clarify career spirit and lonely and concern. Somebody you could have received, you could have, you could have, um, you could have received or be talking to someone, receive some type of consolation, uh, Maybe pertaining to your business, pertaining to your uh, whatever work you do, okay? And you're sitting up worried about it. You're trying to figure out how you can move forward, move on from this, okay? Somebody wants you as a servant. Somebody wants you working for them, okay? Somebody is going to come in and offer you some type of opportunity, okay? They're trying to blackmail you into selling your soul. Don't fall for this bullshit, okay? These people are jealous of you. They're envious of you. They're intimidated by you. And they're trying to steal something from you, just period, okay? Because they don't want you good and abundant on your own. Okay, spirit, clarify competition all around you. <laughs> we got a uh, melancholy that sit here on the competition that's all around you. The part that's in crime, they got some type of message of concern. They sitting up feeling sad. They feel up feeling depressed. They feeling anxious. They feeling some type of way. Okay, about your work, whatever work it is that you do. Spirit, clarify promotion with thoughts, unexpected income, and the wheel. Promotion. Thoughts, unexpected income, and the wheel. And these cards here being stubborn. They either don't want to flip over. We have room here. You could be sitting up in your room, honey, sitting up in your house or wherever you reside, okay? Just another day, regular day, when you get some type of, when this abundance, this promotion come in for you, when this abundance come up in for you, okay? When things turn around and look up all of a sudden, yeah, because you're going to receive some type of messages, news, information, communication, maybe a letter, an email, a phone call, like something is going to come in for you about this money here, okay? Uh, these miracles is going to come in for you. It's very clarify they want your gifts, gossip, occupation. Yeah, money. Whatever work you it is that you do, obviously most people's work bring in, you know, some some type of money, whether you're working for someone or you know, or you're working for yourself here, okay? But people are sitting up gossiping about this okay they want your gifts your, your, your spiritual gifts your physical gifts your material gifts okay people know that some type of gift is coming in for you you're on this new pathway okay this could bring you insight and wealth with this money here people in the in in in, in deep thought about this okay to the point where they want to try to send somebody in honey to try to marry you child to get close enough to you so they can take this abundance from you honey you better watch out this is what i'm telling you people ain't, ain't, ain't right 
they will send in whoever they feel like can get close to you. No matter where they send somebody that act like they a lover, a friend, uh, a business owner. It could be anybody. It's like these people are upset that you have some type of gift or something. You know, if people are so selfish in the world. This world is big enough for everybody to be great in their own damn way. It's big enough for everybody to succeed and, and be abundant and successful and shit like that or whatever. But you got people out here who their job is literally solely to do nothing but hate on other people. Now, it's a trip because they want every damn thing for themselves. They want to be the most beautiful, the most handsome. They want to have the nicest houses, cars, and clothes, and shoes, and jewelry, and things, okay? They want to be seen, you know, the most glamorous and, and, and things in, in their job. They want to see be seen as the most talented and the highest paid and all this shit, but they hate on every damn body else. They don't want you to have any damn thing, okay? And these are the very people that's in competition with you, okay? Now, you ain't never hated on them or any damn thing that they got, but here they go find out that you got some type of talent, skill, or ability. They don't want you seen. They don't want you known. They don't want you to have a talent, skill, or ability. They don't want you to have any gifts. They don't want you to succeed. They don't want you to have any money. They don't want you to be happy, but of course, they want all them damn things for themselves. It's some selfish bitches, I swear. Spirit, clarify, don't sell your soul to get the deal of the bag with the hermit thief and conversation. Yeah. See, I, I, I feel like you are in this temperance energy here, okay? You're some, there's something that's very pure about you. I feel like you're an earth angel. You're one with the divine, okay? You could definitely do things to heal and to help others, to God or to teach others or, or something, okay? But there's something very divine, very pure about you. You pour life into others with whatever it is that you do. Spirit, clarify career, lonely, concern. Career, lonely, and concern. Yeah, the hermit. You work alone. You work by yourself. You're to yourself. You have nothing. You have nobody. Okay? But you see how this light is shining? And every one of these hermit cards, you got. You see that light that he's got. And it shines brightly. You are someone who is very illuminated. Okay? You're very enlightened. Okay? You're very skilled at what you do. Okay, but you're in concern because you're trying to figure out, you're hanging around, you're waiting to see what's going to happen with the hangman here, um, how you can move forward with your business or in your career, okay, how you can uh, benefit or profit from, from the work that you do, and there's other people sitting back behind the scenes, and I guarantee you, these people, the people that's jealous of you, envious of you, intimidated by you, I guarantee you right now, today, they probably got more than you. But they're jealous and envious of you. These people are some selfish son, son of a bitches, I swear. Excuse my language, but they are, okay? They notice some type of change is coming in for you. And in, 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 in reference to, to, the, to the work that you perform, the duties that you perform, okay? Somebody wants to come in like they want to, like they want to be generous with you and giving with you. Like they want to offer you an opportunity to work for them, but it's literally a setup to try to blackmail you into selling out. Okay. Somebody want to set up a situation for you to try to blackmail you into selling out. Okay. And this is the competition all around you. That's partners in crime. They want to come in like they want to be generous to you. Okay. But it's literally a setup. The shit was literally done on purpose to try to blackmail you into selling out. Okay. Spirit, clarify promotion. The Ace of Swords was at the bottom of the deck. Spirit said that's true, that that was clarity. Spirit, clarify uh, promotion. The Will of Fortune. Thoughts. Unexpected income. And room. So, yeah, you're going to receive some type of fast communication. Some fast communication is going to come into you, okay? Um, 
swift, fast communications, messages, news, information. This communication could come in any in any way, shape, form, or fashion, okay? But you're getting some type of promotion. You're getting a leg up. Things are going to look up in your life. There's good coming in for a change. This has to do with your finances, your money, your resources, your job, your career, or what have you. There's a promotion that is coming in for you, okay? You have already endured a lot, okay? And there's this abundance that's coming in for you, okay? Spirit, clarify money and believe in miracles. Yeah, you stay strong in a situation. You stood your ground, okay? You had courage. You had strength in a situation. Even though you endured so much, you still had balance. You overcame obstacles that were thrown in your way on purpose. And there is some type of communication that is coming in for you. Spirit, clarify, uh, they want your gifts. Yeah. We had a sign here. These people want your gifts. I'm telling you, and they gossiping about it. Okay? Whatever occupation or work you do, whatever occupation you have or work you do, it can bring in you a lot of money here. With the sign here, this talks about brand new beginnings. Fresh starts. Okay? Happiness, fulfillment, joy, peace of mind. Okay? These people are gossiping about this. They want your money. There's a large lump sum of money that's coming in for you. Okay? So much so, somebody, somebody may be able to get them some transportation. Yeah. You could be a mother or uh, a mother figure here with the Empress card here. You're definitely in your imprint's energy. There's come some type of success. People are watching you because there's success, triumph, and victory that is coming in for an empress, okay? Yes, an abundance of money here with the ace of coins here, okay? This is a hand from God. This is abundance coming from the, from the almighty most high, okay? Eight of coins here. This also speaks, yeah, this abundance is coming in for the work that you do. This speaks to the work that you do because you a star, Somebody is a star and whatever it is that you do, okay? And you shine bright like a star. I feel like you have made good decisions. And this abundance is coming in for you. You could have secret, you, with the high priestess at the bottom of the deck, uh, you could have, uh, hold some type of occultic knowledge, secret knowledge, hidden knowledge in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Or maybe you are a high priestess, you implement this into the work that you do. You can be moving, relocating, traveling, getting a new transportation or vehicle. Okay. Yeah, you worked really hard. You worked really, really hard. And there's a harvest that's coming in for you, okay? You will have growth and movement forward. Um, for some of you, uh, there could be a love opportunity coming in for you, for some of you. Um, if you're dating somebody right now, that may turn into marriage, Okay. But I feel like if you haven't been getting paid for the work that you do, you may at least be in an opera, uh, uh, put in a position where where uh, you could benefit from the work that you do in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion, okay? Be careful of the snakes around you. There's a group of women. There's an earth sign woman, uh, an air sign woman, and a fire sign woman, okay? That's in competition with you the most, okay? Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, an air, uh, 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 an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, and a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, um, women are in competition with you. Okay, very careful of these individuals. Okay. Okay, guys, well, I do thank you all for listening and for watching. I hope this information has given you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to the situation that you are going through. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at Tiffany Ziegler 16 
at gmail.com or at tips.diamond.36 at gmail.com. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at shine bright like a diamond three six. And for those of you who would like to donate to the channel, you can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond three six, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at three six diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that's lurking around each and every corner, honey, even in the neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. Be very careful of, of new people coming into your life, trying to be your friends, trying to be your lovers. Uh, even sorry, fake-ass family trying to weasel their way back in your life when they ain't never been there for you, done nothing for you, or uh, anything, okay? Because these people, um, somebody wants to steal something, know some type of high honor and abundance is coming in for someone, or at least a promotion or some kind, and somebody wants to, is it, like they are fuming, they're mad because of it, Okay? Whoever energy I'm feeling, like this person, like literally has a problem with you being talented. I, I, I feel like if you worked at McDonald's, okay, and you've been a regular employee for 15 years, and now you about to be the GM, the general manager, you didn't got a promotion to general manager, Okay. Somebody is hating on that. It's like somebody don't want you. Like, it's in competition with you so much. So jealous of you. So envious of you. So intimidated by you. They don't want you to have no type of abundance. No type of success. No type of... It don't even matter what you do. Okay? I wouldn't give a damn if you came into a few hundred dollars. And you was able to go and buy you a pair of Jordans and you walked outside with a fresh pair of brand new Jordans that just came out on. This person would hate you today. They would be fuming. That's the energy that I'm feeling from this person. It's like they don't want you to have nothing. How do you don't want somebody? I have never even wished such a thing on my enemies. You understand me? Could you imagine people that don't even know you feeling like, like, feeling like that about you? Let's long. Could you imagine your own family feeling like that about you? Could you imagine people who once said they was your friends and your lovers feeling that way about you? How you don't want somebody to have nothing? I've never even thought this about people I don't like. Who says they to they say, oh, I don't want them to have nothing. Oh, I want them to be ugly. Oh, I wish they just didn't have a place to live and they were haunted. Oh, I wish they didn't have no car, no man, or no woman. Oh, I wish they were just lonely and by themselves. Oh, I wish they had no food to eat. Ooh, who wishes this shit on some damn body? Oh, I wish they would just die. Like, that's the worst one. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I, this person, these people are like that. Is the energy that I'm feeling. How you don't want somebody to have nothing? I literally, I mean, people, you know, everybody got somebody, you know what? Like, you know, because it, it, as adults, like, everybody got somebody you don't really care for, you don't deal with, like, that. you don't fuck with them like that. You understand what I'm saying? But as adult, how I deal with that type of shit, I feel like as adults, look, if I don't like you and you don't like me, look, dude, like, I'm not going to insert myself in your life, step on your toes, come in your space. Come to your home where you at and make problems for you on purpose or no shit like that. As an adult, I'm going to stay away from you. And I'm expecting you as an adult, you stay away from me. We don't talk to each other. We don't deal with each other. We got to understand it. We don't care. That's how adults handle shit. You understand what I'm saying? But to dislike somebody and be like, ugh. I wish, I wish they whole life fall apart. I wish they kids got hurt. I wish they man will leave. Like, What? 
I literally never even felt y'all some of this stuff that people are doing and on y'all it has never even crossed my mind to even think about somebody I mean people clearly I don't care for I could I, I, I've never even imagined to think things so awful to freak about them and it's ridiculous because people is out here on that type of shit bro it's sad it's sad and, and especially the people that don't know you from Adam there is people who literally could be halfway across the world in whole other states across the country and 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 may hate you to damn death just because they didn't see you online or some shit could be working against you in secret or some shit people closest to you who told you to your face looked you in the eye and told you i love you and lied to you they hate the ground you walk on they will call you behind your back they call you every name in the book except for the child of god Okay, them type of people. I'm literally feeling that energy. Okay, and they anytime you do something good, they fuming. Oh, they upset. How dare they be good? How dare they do something good? How dare they? That's how they. That's how they are. That's how they seem like. I feel like that's how they sound or something. Like it's ridiculous, y'all. You don't even understand. Y'all need to. You. You know what I'm saying? To watch the company you keep, man. Watch the company y'all keep, okay? Um, as always, guys, peace, love, and light. Namaste. Um, I am that I am created in the image of God.